storage. It's a fairly simple setup here. So first thing I wanna do is set this to classic view mode. We're gonna to go to settings, scroll down to main menu UI settings, UI layout. It's preset to modern, but I love the classic. So, so classic show games on main screen. We're gonna to go to the classic layout settings. Now this is how I like to set it up. So I don't show my favorites. I don't show my recently played. I don't show all systems row or collection row. So I turn all of those off. We're gonna back out. Now from the settings menu, we wanna add a new system. We'll go to add a new system. So from here, we need to find the emulator we downloaded or the emulator that you choose to play your games with. So we downloaded SNES 9X for SNES games. We're gonna find that here. And I believe it's down at the bottom. SNES 9X EX Plus. We're also going to add our PSP emulator. We downloaded PPSSPP, so we need to find that from the list. We downloaded the free version. There's also the gold. We have the free one, so choose the first option. Now we need to add our N64 emulator. We downloaded the N64 Mupin FZ build. Mupin 64 Plus FZ Play Store version. Now that we have our emulators chosen here, we need to set them up. So for N64, we're gonna highlight it, go into here. We need to choose our ROM directory. Now that you set up your USB stick, you should know where your ROMs are. We're gonna go to browse, up one level, up one level, and this is our USB stick. Yours will be numbered differently from mine. Scroll down until we find our ROMs directory that we created. Now we need to find N64. We're going to select this directory, click OK. Back out, we're gonna do the same with PSP. So we'll go to ROM directory, browse, up one level, up one level, choose our USB stick, find ROMs, find our PSP folder we placed our PSP games in. Select this directory, okay. Back up and we'll do the same with SNES. ROM directory, browse, up one level, up one level, choose our USB, scroll down to ROMs, and find our SNES folder that we placed our SNES games in. Select this folder, click OK. Now we're gonna back out completely. And if you have the grid underscore view dot PNG, you'll already see them here. No matter what picture you put there, you'll see your images here. And I'll upload the images that I have right now to Google Drive so you can have them. But down the road, I want to create a full pack for every emulator that's supported. We need to add our ROMs now. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Database tasks. From here, we have rescan without scraping. We want to scrape. So we're going to go to rescan and scrape. Scrape new unscraped games only or you can rescrape all the games. Since we haven't scraped at all, we're gonna choose the first option here. You can choose by system, or we can choose all systems. Now this could take a little while depending on your internet connection. I'm gonna choose all systems. It's going to download metadata, which will be information for our games that we have and our box art. So all systems, you need to sit back and relax, let this finish up. Depending on how many games you have, this could take anywhere from a few minutes up to a few hours. Now, if you have hundreds or thousands of games, it's gonna take a few hours. For me, it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. Go get you a drink or something, and when you come back, everything should be finished up. Okay, so scraping is done. We're gonna scroll through here, and as you can see, some of these didn't scrape correctly. Now, when you put your games on your USB stick, they need to be named as close as possible to the original game's name. Some 
you'll just not be able to find. And that's just what we got to work with right now. Like one bio freaks. I cannot find this one. Even if I go to the game itself, tools, fix match, no suitable match found, remove scrape data from this game. So that's one I can't find, but most of them you will be able to find. So we're going to go to Dissidia, Final Fantasy, Tools, Fix Match. As you can see, we have it right here. So we're just going to click on that. It's going to download it for us. Now we have our scraped art and our metadata. Another one that I couldn't find besides BioFreaks was Tekken 5 for some odd reason. Tekken Dark Resurrection does work. Tools, Fix Match, Tekken Dark Resurrection. It's going to scrape the artwork and our metadata for us. And now we have box art for that game. So when you put your games on your USB stick, make sure they are named as close as possible to the original game. Battletoads, Double Dragon, Tools, Fix Match, Battletoads, Double Dragon. It just didn't find it for some reason. It's got to be my naming convention with the game. And Do Re Mi Fantasy. This is an oddball one anyway. We can still find that match though. Do Re Mi Fantasy. And that's it.